What's going on, everybody? I just noticed how, like, goofy my voice sounds whenever I say that. It's like some weird, high-pitched dog noise or something. What's going on, YouTube? I'll try that level. Hey, what's going on? Back here on Thursday, got another update here for the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden with the catfish in the water. Um, well, title of the video says it all. We've got a catfish fail. That'll be at the end, just because where it's at. Um, got a little harvest here from my hydro tube earlier and my super hot. I got a habanero there, very first one. Very nice. Um, but yeah, like I said, catfish are in there. Water level very high. Um, I shouldn't say very high because that would be another few inches, but it's right there at the very top. Um, still above my drains. Not that that really matters, in case you're wondering if you want to do this. Um, my hot tub over here, my hot tub aquaponic garden on Tuesdays. Hey, plug, plug. Um, that one, I've actually had that so full that the drains were underwater and they still operated. Why? Because there's air on the top. Um, so just in case you were worried about, uh, oh my God, I got to get a bunch of this water out of here. I never did. I just let it go until the water level finally dropped down. You know, the plants drink or evaporation takes the water level down below the drains. We're right back to where we should be. Um, but anyway, enough pablin right off the bat, man. Um, that is in one of my playlists. I don't know, 2013, I think it was, uh, whenever there was no greenhouse. But if you wanted to watch that video. Um, here we've got the deep water culture bed <laughs> or my table where I put stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's doing very nice. We've got the gigantic mint over here just taken over like crazy. Good thing the drain is down here, not over there, but I'm sure the roots are reaching the drain. My giant dinosaur kale, look at that, the pride of the garden. Looking very beautiful. I haven't seen any more damage on here since I uh, grabbed that grasshopper off of it last week. Um, said the mint. Oh man, more lettuce. What the heck? All right, this dead old lettuce here uh, needs to go. I pulled everything over here. We'll get to that in just one second. Brussels sprout, or no, yeah, Brussels. Um, this is the one I topped. It is starting to take off pretty good. A uh, bunch of mint flowers all around it there. Um, and my other Brussels here that wasn't really affected is still going strong. Yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, still nothing on these strawberries. Um, if you've been watching for quite a while, I put these strawberries in, I think last year. Still haven't come up and I've been too lazy to just pull them right out of the cups. They might come up. Uh, yeah, well... Daggone catfish. Um, they're gigantic. Those, uh, I don't know if you can see those two inch pieces of pipe right there. They don't even hang out in there anymore because I'm pretty sure, yes, that's white flies flying around. Uh, they really don't even hang out in there anymore because I think they're a little too big for it. Now that I say that, is one in there? No. Um, but I've noticed they're not hanging out in there uh, so much. Maybe, no, maybe that's algae right there, but maybe that's one. But, uh, yeah, but they're longer than that piece of pipe, so that's what, I don't know, like a good 10 inches. So, anyway, back to plants. It's already getting late. Um, I love doing these re uh, um, updates here at uh, almost nighttime, but, man, it sucks on the, well, for the video. But over here, this is why I pulled all the lettuce. We've got a bunch of volunteers. Got one right here. We've got something right here. I don't know what exactly that is. Um, there's another little something over here. Uh, just all over the place in here. Um, yeah, I thought there was more, but I'm sure there is. Uh, once we get over to the other end, there's gonna be a bunch. Uh, my other beauty of the uh, greenhouse here, uh, my dinosaur tail, but look. Oh, they're not even flying. There we go, now they're flying a little bit. but. Got some white flies on there. Um, daggone uh, air pump making all kind of noise. Check it out, my straw. Oh, I didn't even trim up my, uh, not trim, but take off some crappy leaves off of my awesome strawberry there. And it's actually got a flower. So that's very weird in July, no, August. It's August here. Um, so yeah, very cool. Lots of aeration going in there, speaking of air pump. Um, messing with the airlines over here. Uh, I need to redo all of my airlines in here to kind of maximize um, 
airflow and stuff, but over here, speaking of volunteers, well, let's go into these. Look, got a couple that look really bad, and then some that look great, but if you're looking, you can see there's white flies all over it, so who's going to be the uh, predator to come on in here and take care of these guys for me? Um, but these guys aren't looking too bad, and I'm not, I mean, that was the worms there. But uh, I really don't see any damage that they're doing that much. Like, it seems like the plant is stunted, so that's damage. But uh, overall, it's not like putting holes in the leaves like those moss were. Or, uh, not moss, caterpillars or worms or whatever they were. Um, yeah, volunteers, volunteers. Where do we got? All right, let's start here. Got one, another one right behind it. They kind of look like uh, pak choy there. Another little tiny guy right here. Lettuce, lettuce. Um... Right back here, we just start, and it just doesn't even stop. All kind of volunteers. That is why I left the lettuce in here. Uh, more right back here in the middle there. Um, where else? I thought I saw some in between the Brussels here, but it's not showing up. Oh, there's one right here. Right here. Um, yeah, that's good enough on the volunteers. Because when we step off of that board and that air pump makes more noise um, we come right over here and if we look behind my tomato all kind of volunteers back here in the corner they're coming up I'm not gonna thin them out I'm not gonna do anything I'm just gonna let them compete on their own which should be interesting that's the fun part of aquaponics you can let things do that and usually they're okay as long as they have actual space to grow so I might have to do a little thinning, but uh, not too much. Little tiny broccoli here, looking beautiful. Onion, hey, look at that, man. Looking very nice. What's this thing looking like? Eh, still no real bulb, but it's getting big. Um, sucker here, it's got a couple flowers on there, looking nice. Mother uh, broccoli plant here is still growing. Um, baby broccoli, where you at? There's two right here, another couple right over here. They're starting to get big. Got some flowers on this sucker. Um, everybody's looking nice. My little pepper has true leaves. Hey, look at that, it's coming up with a second set of true leaves. That's very cool. Got this little guy over here, not exactly sure. Looks like a pak choy. Um, <clears throat> Let me see. I'm sure I'm missing some things. Volunteers back here. That's very cool. I love volunteers. That's my new favorite thing. Um, that's what I'm going to keep on trying to do. Last year in the hot tub aquaponic garden behind me on Tuesdays. Hey, um, That one, I actually dropped some indigo rose uh, the year before. And last year, a whole pile of them came in. And Marglove. That was very cool. And I dropped some on the floor of the greenhouse. It didn't even get rain, uh, you know, because it's inside the greenhouse. And somehow, those suckers grew don't understand it but life must go on like Jurassic Park says um yeah yeah except for in a minute um oh right no oh, that is nothing no, that's a flower from the sucker that fell off yeah all right that's everything in this bed let's move on um dinosaur kale down here I haven't looked at it in quite a while so I can see it's got some white flies, but I don't see any of those caterpillars, and I haven't trimmed any of these leaves. So, okay, well, it's looking like it's uh, okay. All right, but it's got some white flies hanging around, so all of this damage was previous. Let's see if he, uh, this one comes back to life or not. Uh, my other one, my green one, dinosaur kale, looking awesome. My other blue right over there. I don't think they're actual blue or anything, but... Oh, heck, I forgot all about this thing. My jalapeno looks black almost on this camera, but uh, still nice and firm. And that is, if you missed that, that is a pepper plant that I put in here last year. I thought it was a green bell, but it turns out it must be a jalapeno. I put it in here, and it took forever to finally start growing. Now it has this much growth right there, and one pod. So go aquaponic uh, pepper. That's one of the. That is the only one I'm. Or no, well that one I just showed, uh, and this one are the only uh, aquaponic peppers that I'm growing. I don't really uh, endorse doing that. Um, peppers just don't seem to like it. 
But, uh, well, maybe if you do it a couple times and you, like, if I took those seeds and replanted them, maybe that would be a good uh, aquaponic uh, jalapeno. Who knows? Uh, right next to it, look at the size of the leaves on this thing. This is a Malabar spinach. Look at that. Look at the trunk on that thing. Look at the leaves. I mean, that is just one of the biggest leaves I've ever seen on a Malabar. And it's starting to get big. It's right here under this pretend uh, trellis type thing that's made out of strings. So we'll see how long that, uh, you know, goes ahead and plays out. My cabbage that were ravished by the uh, worms, they're kind of hanging in there, doing their thing. Can't really see underneath it, see if there's any volunteers or anything. Um, I do have one volunteer right here, a lettuce, a uh, quick scan of the entire bed, uh, mint coming into the bed here. Um, but yeah, I don't really see any more. Okay, we're just going to say no. Um, that's about it on volunteers for this week. Um, gigantic mint, it's just hanging right over, flowering and everything, being very cool. Um, the other deep water culture bed, that's what this is all in. My hydro tube is growing into it. But you can see some of my uh, cabbage over here, deep water culture bed style. They're coming back pretty good. Look right in there, got a nice, decent looking head forming. Um, this guy, I believe I topped, and now it's coming back like multiples on top. And this stupid lettuce, man. That stuff right there, this right here, need to pull that. Yeah. All right. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, now for the fail part. Right, had to wait all this time and everything. But, uh, so, when I, might as well come down here. When I built this thing, I got my 2x4 here, I got my fish tank. Really have no room right in between here. And the reason I did that, this drain even has a hard time getting in there. Um, it's that tight. The reason I did that was because I wanted to, like, in, uh, cover the fish tank with the beds. And because uh, with the hot tub, it's wide open, you know, I wanted to make as least algae as possible. So I did it this way with full intention of right over here where I'm always looking at the fish, putting like a, a piece of plywood right over there. That way it kind of covers the tank. You can kind of see there's a very small gap there between the tank and uh, the bottom brace of where the beds are. Um, but yeah, so somehow right over here um, where it's wide open, uh, right here on this side, that is. Um, one of the catfish jumped out and must have flopped around. And now way over here, I noticed it looked kind of fish-like. And I was like, what the heck is that? That's a dead catfish that rolled around in the dirt. And I did not catch this for a few days. Grr. So, I can't remember what we were up to on the catfish count. I believe we were up to five. So, I guess at the very least, or at the very most, there's four? Darn. Oh well. So I'm a bad fish owner, man. I filled that tank a lot of the way up. I still even have more of my reserve over here. Um, I was going to add it to the hot tub, though. But, uh, yeah, I guess with the water level being that high, and they are so powerful that they went after something on the surface and must have came out of the water and went, so... I don't know, now I have to think about uh, maybe doing some kind of uh, fish tank lid type thingy or something. I don't know. So, if I do that, find that out in the next video. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can come back tomorrow. Check out the hydro tube here along the back wall with all the tomatoes and some peppers. My super hot's always on Mondays. My hot tub aquaponic, more super hot's over there. They're still on Mondays. Uh, hot tub aquaponic garden over here on Tuesday back here for the hut or lava rock aquaponic garden for thursday so don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to do all of that fun happy social media stuff down below and uh just taking a break from shout outs this week just because uh it adds more work every time i do it because i have to link it down below i'm feeling lazy this week um so, and I've been pretty doggone busy, so uh, taking a break from that, but that'll all be back next week. And yeah, so hit that subscribe button, come back, check out everything we got going on, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Till then, later.